Hello, and welcome back to Theology and Religion with J.D. Reiner. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most important living thinkers in modern Christianity. His name is Alistair McGrath. He is a leading Anglican scientist and theologian at Oxford University. I want to explain how he has influenced my own thinking. His writings and lectures have helped me in my journey of faith, and his ideas have affected my approach to my own academic work. In this session, we will discuss two concepts that I learned from him. The first is the idea that Christian faith can be thought of as a way to make sense of things, as McGrath puts it. The second concept is his view on the relationship between science and religion. At the end of the discussion, I will explain how I incorporate McGrath's ideas into my own work, especially my articles, podcasts, and videos. The first important thing that Alistair McGrath taught me was the nature of Christian faith. How are we supposed to think of faith? It can be a hard question uh, to answer, as you can imagine. It is easy to think of faith as a bad thing or as a way that we believe something when we do not have proof. Many people mischaracterize faith as something that we hold to irrationally, even when there is evidence against it. There are indeed people who think this way about faith, but it is not true that Christian faith itself is a replacement for proof. On the contrary, McGrath says that faith is a way to explain the world that goes beyond proof, but not to militate against it. Here is an excerpt of his own explanation of how Christian faith works, taken from an article that he wrote for ABC Religion and Ethics in 2011. Quote, Christianity holds that faith is basically warranted belief. Faith goes beyond what is logically demonstrable, yet is nevertheless capable of rational motivation and foundation. It is not a blind leap into the dark, but a joyful discovery of a bigger picture of things, of which we are a part. It is complex and rich, which goes far beyond simply asserting or holding that certain things are true. So according to McGrath, Christian faith incorporates the evidence that we have but it is not limited to the evidence alone. We believe in Christian claims in the same way that we believe things like moral or political claims. We incorporate the evidence, but then go beyond it to explain it. If we did not do that, then we could hardly explain anything at all, at least nothing of any real importance. Personally, my own faith has been enriched by this understanding, thanks to Alistair McGrath. It has helped me engage new experiences in the world in a way that does not make me feel threatened by new evidence. Instead of treating evidence as competing against faith, I can integrate evidence and use faith to bring everything together. So let's go on. The second important thing that Alistair McGrath taught me is how to understand the relationship between science and religion. When I was young, I believed that there was a conflict between science and religion. I thought that scientists wanted to explain the world in a different way from what I believed because they wanted to replace religion with science. But when I got older and read what experts had to say on science and religion, I changed my mind. McGrath especially helped me understand better how science and religion really work. In McGrath's view, science and religion explain different parts of reality. Because of this, they can complement each other in a dialogue or conversation. That is, they can have a conversation with each other such that science explains the world using empirical methods. So it answers things like, how did the world come to exist? And how does it work? Religion and theology, on the other hand, explain the meaning of the world. It asks questions like, why does the world exist? And what is its purpose? So roughly speaking, Science answers the how questions, and religion answers the why questions. When science and religion dialogue together, we see a bigger picture of the world than we would have if we used only one discipline alone. So now I'm going to talk about how I incorporate McGrath's ideas into my own work. If you follow my other posts and podcasts, then you probably guess already how I use McGrath's ideas in my work. I have tried to apply his concepts of science and faith to the spheres of religious studies and theology. I do this because the secular field of religious studies is a scientific approach to religion, 
just like the physical sciences are scientific approaches to nature. In my view, we can set up a dialogue between religious studies and Christian theology in a similar way to how McGrath sets up a dialogue between science and faith. We can put it this way. Religious studies explains religion at the human level, while Christian theology explains religion at the divine level. Religious studies discusses religion as an individual and corporate human activity, while theology discusses the nature of God and his relationship with his creation, including humans. So uh, some examples might help to clarify how uh, the two fields can complement each other. A scholar of religion could make a statement like this. The historical evidence indicates that the early Christians worshipped Jesus as the Son of God. This is a claim about the historical religious community of the early Christians. It is about the human phenomenon about religion. The human phenomenon of religion. It's not about whether that claim is uh, true or not, that it's true that Jesus is the Son of God, and that sort of thing. It's just a statement, this historical community did this and that. A Christian theologian, however, could make a statement like this. The scriptures and church tradition teach that Jesus is to be worshipped by us as the Son of God. This, on the other hand, is a statement about the divine level. It is about what God is like as revealed in Jesus Christ. It is also about what humans should do in response. So there's not just the explanation of religion as a human phenomenon here. There is uh, more to it. There is an actual theological claim here, and that is what theology is about. As you can see, a religious studies expert cannot make that second statement. But a theologian can. What can we do with this? If we use the two fields of study to work together, as I try to do, we can get a greater appreciation of the world in which we live. In other words, a conversation between religious studies and Christian theology helps make better sense of the world. We can thereby develop a robust faith that takes the evidence from both fields and then goes beyond it, like McGrath's uh, first point that I told you I learned from him. We will be putting our trust in a God who is Lord not only of our hearts, but also of our minds. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this session of Theology and Religion with J.D. Reiner discussing the influence of Alistair McGrath on my own thinking and work, as well as how I attempt to apply those concepts to my own fields of study. In the description below, I will include the bibliographic information of some of the books by McGrath that I recommend, just in case you want to explore his ideas for yourself. For more information on what, my work, I invite you to visit jdreiner.com or my YouTube channel or listen to my podcast, as you may be doing now. If you have any questions or comments, then you can reach me at jonathandreiner at gmail.com, which is the email address associated with my YouTube channel. If you are watching this on YouTube, then please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for new content regularly. I would also deeply appreciate it if you would like to donate to my work using the links in the description. Once again, thanks for listening, and I will see you next time.